problems and life can be so confused. Yes, it can. But when you come back home, God is gonna fix it for you. All He is saying, Oh, that He wants you to do is come home, come home, please come home. You better come back Today is Ascension Sunday, where we celebrate the fact that the living Lord rose and went to sit at the right hand of his Father. But we find this story in the Acts of the Apostles. Again, Luke, the physician, continues to write, and he is writing a letter to Theophilus. 
Have you ever received a letter from someone that brought you smiles or cleared up something that you may have been thinking about? Well, evidently, Theophilus had some questions. He had some doubts about things. And Luke sits down and Luke begins to write to this brother in the faith. And he says, in the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven and after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized by the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they came together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you would restore the kingdom to Israel? And he replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. Holy Ghost power. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. There are only two kind of days, my brothers and sisters. Good morning and just morning. Most of the times we just have morning. You know, we, we, we go to bed sometimes and think, oh God, I got to get up in the morning. Well, I hope we would go to bed thinking, oh God, let me get up in the morning. Because no matter what the day may bring, God has gifted us a new day. And we ought not look a gift in the mouth like that. We ought not go to bed worried about, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I should have said this, I should have said that. You ever get mad at somebody? And you know what you should have said, but because you were near the Bible, you probably didn't say it. Or somebody was looking. I told y'all about that time I was at that game in A&T. Cold, Lord knows I was cold. But the two brothers had the liquid heat in front of me. <laughs> and, 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 and I was about ready to tap one of them on the shoulder and say, pass the heat. <laughs> but, but my son got to running and he caught the football and I'm jumping up and down yelling and my old blood corpuscles and stuff started working and I didn't need the heat. A lady sitting about seven rows back walks up to me and said, do you remember me? I, no, ma'am, I don't believe it, do. <laughs> she said, you preached at my church in Lynchburg, Virginia. Thank God I got warm when that boy got that touchdown. <laughs> But you know, sometimes we, we, we think ain't nobody looking, nobody care what we do. Sometimes we want to say things that are, might be a little inappropriate for a Christian to be saying. And so we hold our tongue, but we get up day after day after day trying to depend upon ourselves to do what needs to be done. And I just want to tell you this morning that we have power that we don't know we have because God has granted us some Holy Ghost power. I'm talking about the power that allows us when we don't know how we're going to make it, to make it anyhow. That's Holy Ghost power. I'm talking about the power that can take these old tired, frail, physical bodies of ours and give us the strength to do what God wants us to do. Go where God wants us to go. Say what God wants us to say. That's some Holy Ghost power. And every morning we get up, we need to get up with the joy of knowing that somewhere 
somehow today I am going to be gifted with some Holy Ghost power. I am going to receive from my God the strength that I need to do whatever he wants me to do. I'm going to be able to take an unkind word and turn it around and make it kind anyhow. You remember they asked the question in Jeremiah, is there no physician in Gilead? And my ancestors turned it around and said, there is a bomb in Gilead. In other words, they took something negative and made something positive out of it. And that's what you do with Holy Ghost power. Tired. Don't want to go nowhere. But you go anyhow. And when you go, you find yourself being blessed. That's Holy Ghost power. And when you know that I can get down on my knees, and if your knees bad, just sit there and talk to God. And God will send you the power that you need. You know, I, I, I got these little Japanese lanterns or whatever you call them. And they got these little bitty light bulbs in them. I'm having a hard time finding them little bitty light bulbs. They don't have them. And even if I did find it and screwed it in the little thing, the light would be less than the light from the candles there. But then I've got a 25-watt bulb that I can put in my refrigerator or in my oven, and I can see what's cooking or what's freezing. That's not enough. And then I've got this 40-watt bulb that I keep in a little light that I keep on most of the time. That just allows me not to stumble in the dark. But that's not enough. Then I've got this 60-watt bulb that I can put in the bathroom, and when you turn the lights on, everything's illuminated, and you see, well, I try not to look in the mirror too often with that one. But then I got a 75-watt bulb that I put in my lamps, and when I sit there, I can read and see the words without any problem, but that's not enough. Then I've got a 100-watt bulb that I keep in a special lamp that I like to have the whole room illuminated. But I found out, friends, a 100-watt bulb ain't enough. You see, I serve a God that gives me the illumination that comes from a floodlight. It floods all my life. The dark places, the lonely places, the empty places. That's the kind of light we need to be shining in the world. But in order for that light to burn, we've got to have some Holy Ghost power. Anybody in here want some Holy Ghost power today? I know I do. I know I need it. I need it every day. Holy Ghost power that enables me to walk like God would want me to walk. Talk like God would want me to talk. Live like God would have me to live. And know when I mess up, I've got forgiveness from on high. That's some Holy Ghost power. That's what the brothers and sisters in Jerusalem were waiting for. They couldn't go anywhere until they were connected to God by the power of the Holy Spirit. You and I can't go anywhere either unless we are connected by the Holy Spirit. So be it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit.